But on the warm side, again, for today, got to be a little bit above normal. We were above normal yesterday, and we had a little bit of energy that went through, and it gave us some chances of some thunderstorms. 82% for the humidity, the pressure rising again. Yep, that was a cold front, low pressure that went through. Didn't really cool us down much. We'll actually see some of that cooling air falling in behind, even though we have a very weak ridge of high pressure moving in in between. This is really just a little bit of unsettled air at times is what we're really having. Now, you can see most everything's cleared off. We still have a few clouds out there, and we will for the day in some locations but we're not going to be seeing as much activity as we did yesterday. But another wave is going to be coming through even by tomorrow evening. You can see on the time lapse out of the Northwest Satellite Radar, it just kind of continues to disappear out of the south and the east. But that was really the areas that had that. Again, if you were watching uh, meteorologist Bree Eggers last night, she did a great job tracking all of that storm activity for you. And again, we're going to be seeing a little bit more that's going to come through late tomorrow. So we may have to be watching again to see all of that. But we have more of this low pressure now heading toward the north. But we'll catch the bottom edge of this and then a portion of this will go through the southwards again. So some of the mountain areas are going to pick up some additional showers, even if we don't have very much in the valleys. In fact, there's very little to none. Seven first alert, future cash, you can kind of see that. You see where some of that moisture is still eastern Idaho may pick up some. Here's where we're going into Wednesday. Now we're going to pause this as we go into Wednesday evening. There's what we're talking about. Right along some of the southern borders of Owyhee County, down around Twin Falls County, Twin Falls area through the Magic Valley. That's where we're going to be seeing some of this, but again, we'll get a little bit of snow up through the mountain areas. Now it's going to be colder, so the freezing level is going to be around 4,500 to 5,000 feet, so we do expect some. But again, not all areas are going to see that. It'll be kind of widely scattered and isolated, but at least we'll get a little bit more snow onto the snowpack. And then that kind of disappears as we head through the end of the week. All right, forecast for today. In the Magic Valley, oh, we're talking partly cloudy skies. Temperatures above normal for today, but most everybody's going to be between 5 and 10 degrees above normal. And for the Central Mountains, we'll be looking at mostly sunshine for today. So again, kind of a mixture of sunshine and clouds in different areas. We're going to be partly cloudy for the West Central Mountains. They'll pick up a little bit more of those clouds. Also, we'll be seeing mostly sunny skies, temperatures in the 60s, but again, close to 10 degrees above normal for these spots. And the same thing is true for the upper Treasure Valley. 58 is normal. We're going to be 9 degrees above that normal mark. Your 7 first alert, 7 day forecast. There's where we're cooled down as we head through. That's the rest of that cooling air. But we'll see some of the showers. Even though it doesn't look like much in the valleys, we'll see some showers in the mountain areas. We're going to get another wave as we head through the weekend into the first of next week.